What's up guys? Park Attack here. Um, coming at you today with another update. This one just a little smaller. More of just an announcement about a new game that I'm going to be making videos on. I am going to continue making videos on Darkest Dungeon 2, but since the full release isn't until February, I don't want to push out too much stuff until we get a little closer to that date. So I'll be turning some of my focus to a new game, which I'm really excited about. And I'll be making videos and guides and stuff for that alongside continuing to make Darkest Dungeon 2 videos. Now, the new game I'm going to be starting is called Immortals Phoenix Rising. It's been out for about a year. You guys might have heard about it, you might not have heard about it, but I've been playing it for a few days now and I'm really excited to start making some guides about it. I've been looking for quite a while for a game that kind of fit into the same space as Shadow of War did, where it's a really good single player game that not that many people know about. Something where there aren't a ton of guides or a ton of information out on it already. It's been out for about a year now and I remember when it was announced and I remember thinking that it looked interesting and then I really didn't hear anything about it for a long time until just recently I noticed that it was on the Xbox Game Pass. I decided to install it, give it a shot, see if I liked it and I had kind of mixed thoughts at first, you know, there's some questionable choices with like the art style and like some of the writing and dialogue and stuff that I'll probably get into in future videos but it really really started to grow on me and I really started to enjoy it the more I played so I'll definitely do a you know what is this game type video as like one of the first ones that I come out with probably but to kind of sum it up quickly it's kind of like the love child of Zelda Breath of the Wild and like the newer Assassin's Creed games. It's made by Ubisoft, so there are definitely some things directly taken or influenced by the Assassin's Creed games. And there are very obvious things that are influenced from Breath of the Wild. But they put it all together really nicely and the story is pretty unique and interesting. And even though it is heavily influenced by these games, it doesn't feel like a copy. So that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to let you guys know about Mortals Phoenix Rising. Give you guys a little taste, let you know what's going to be coming up in the future. Like I said before, I'll be kind of irregularly alternating between the Darkest Dungeon videos and this game. And then if I finish this game and make all the guides that I can for it and Darkest Dungeon 2 still isn't out, I'll probably look for another similar game, you know, like a diamond in the rough single player type game. Um, but until then, I hope you guys stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I have made. Uh, my name is Park Attack. Peace.